Welcome to Best Car Fixes Jeep Grand Cherokee 2012 11, 12, 13 with a push button. We have electrical problem and we have to take the push button uh, and we have to put the key directly because it is not even recognized the security, uh, the key, the wireless or the proximity. So we are going to try to diagnose this car to see what's going on, what is the problem. First, I want to be sure uh, the car is not cranking, you know, like it tried to crank, it make a little bit of just some time and that's it, nothing. Check. Or now nothing. Security light, it look okay. So I'm trying to communicate with the car to see what happened, what's going on. Also, you notice the wiper work by itself. It's not supposed to do that. And it is not starting at all. So now, till now, we are scanning the car 7 11 time, 8 time, 8 time of 11. Nothing is work. S a signal work by itself. Wiper work by itself. And the car is still doesn't want to take, doesn't want to go to the next level. So we're going to be patient a little bit, see if we'll be able to communicate with the car. Maybe we have communication issue in this car. One of the things we notice, you see here, a cross coming out. And letter P, you cannot see the P park neutral reverse, and it says service four wheel drive. Okay, so first of all, we have to look and see what is there, what's going on. You see now, here we are not able to communicate with the car. You say enter the VIN. I'm gonna cancel this, and I will try again to communicate auto auto detect. If it doesn't communicate, two things we have to know, we have to do. I have to look for why it's not communicating. Now I see the computer see something. Even though you see we have a VIN number, good. I will say, okay, let us break it down piece by piece. Here, 2011, perfect. Diagnose. I'm gonna scan the whole car, engine. I wanna see if it's available. Transmission, scanning, ABS is scanning. We're waiting for it. As you see here, we are communicating with gateway. We have 10 volt radio. I believe this car, the front, the front. Uh, Maybe the gateway module or they don't have things coming in and out out of it. But at least by making the diagnosis, we will have a little bit of idea. Okay. Now let me see the report. And you see all kind of message. Water, antifreeze, security also blinking sometimes. Crazy stuff. Okay. The central gateway have a problem. Parktronic. Let me go after one line to see what we have. There is a line I suppose to see, and that line from here there is a detail. Communication with the ECM, communication with the transmission, communication with the transfer case, communication with the electric gear shift, all these lost communications, anti lock brake. We have a communication that no communication. Radio, wow, satellite region, you know, um, um, impulsible data received from. IPM, Intelligent Power Control, Control Module, TPM. Wow. Hello. Even the horn. That's delay in transmission. It's still beeping, that's take long. So what happened is, it look like impossible data received from IPM, FCM, tip AM, tip M. Hmm. Hello. Even the key, let's go. Security module, steering column, all these codes. Transmission is not communicating, engine is not communicating. 
Okay. So we know that we have a communication issue with this car. Uh, it could be that, uh, yeah. It could be one of those modules is no good. It could be the transmission itself is corrupted. Something pulling down the data line. Okay, so a, a, a little bit of job have to be spent on it. A little bit of time have to spend on this car. In five minutes, um, we need to be sure that we have all power on ground and we need to be sure that nothing is pulling down the communication data line. And from there, we can go to the next level. Please subscribe, share, and like, and see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Thank you. Okay, my friend. You have a communication line. System is dead.